Hello everyone and welcome to Friday's Maths Challenge. Now, what you're going to need is a piece of paper. You're going to need something to write with. Okay? You're going to need your brain switched on. And you're either going to need two dice. One will do, but two would be better. And if you've not got a dice, what you can do is, like me, you can make some number cards. So you can put them all and go... Bang! Four. Four. Two. Okay? So you can make a number generator. Or you can go on... I'm sure tablets and phones have random number generators or something like that. Okay? So, with your dice, we're going to be playing a game called Shut the Box. Now, Shut the Box is a really old-fashioned game that people used to play in the pub. And what it, there is, is you've got the numbers from 1, 2, all the way up to 12, like that. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to be practising our adding and our subtracting with our dice. Now, I have got two, can you hear these? Two quite quiet dice, not like this one. That's a noisy dice. I've got these two dice. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll them. And my numbers are a five and a one. Now, I need to decide I'm, what the total of whatever this is, I'm going to cross out. So I can either add these numbers together or take them away. Now, to start off, I'm going to add them. So I've got five, add one. What does that equal? equal six. So I'm going to get my six and go... Good. Next one. Three and a two. Am I going to add these together or take them away? I'm going to take them away. Three take away two equals one. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get rid of all of these numbers to be to win the game. It's called Shut the Box because it used to be made out of a little wood and all the numbers would be on like a lid. And what you had to do was when you got the number, you went... And you put them down. So you were shutting the box. Okay. So I'm going to keep playing. Whoop. Four and a one. Four and one. Now, four take away one is three. Still got that. Four add one is five. Or which one am I going to do? I'm going to take away. Four take away one equals three. And I'm going to keep playing. Four and three. If I take them away, it's one. Ooh, so I'm going to add them. Four, five, six, seven. There we go. Oh, I've not crossed that one. Took three. So that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to cross out all of your numbers. Now, the reason I'm writing them down here is because I know some of you are little cheaters sometimes. You're like, um, um, what do I need? I need an eight. Um, yay, I got an eight. No, you didn't. That was cheating. Okay? So that's what I want you to do. I want you to write them down so you can prove. Now, a really fun way of doing this is to play against someone. Whether it's mum, dad, brother, sister, uncle, auntie, cat, dog, whoever can do maths, okay? If they can add these two numbers together, they can play. Oh my goodness, it started raining really heavily here. So, that is what you can do. And it'd be great to race against each other. Because then you can give each other house points or you can give each other a high five if they win, okay? So, that is shut the box. Now, if you are after a challenge, you could change the numbers, the reason mine goes up to 12 is because the biggest number on my dice are 6. And 6 adds 6 equals 12. But if you have a bigger dice like I do, mine goes all the way up to 12. So I could play shut the box with numbers all the way from 1. Now what are two 12s? Two groups 12. 12 add 12. All the way up to 24. That will take you a bit longer, but it will really get your mind going. Okay? You could even make little 12 number cards or anything that makes a random number. So, I hope you enjoy having Game of Shut the Box and I hope you beat whoever you're playing. Okay, see you next time. Good luck. Bye.